Good afternoon, Con here with Tech Out. Today we are back out here where my networking rack is, um, and I want to show you guys some stuff I have been doing over the uh, past week. Um, actually, just a few days. It hasn't even taken that long. Um, so it's a little bit messy over here because it still is a work in progress. Um, as you can see, this is still slid out from the wall over there um, because I still have a couple things to wire up. I'm waiting on a couple more things to come in from Ubiquity. Um, to add a couple more pieces to this and then everything will be done um, right here and I'll show you guys where all this goes here in a minute um, but we have some cat 5e I'll explain why I use cat 5e here in a minute as well um, running through the wall there as I said I'll show you where that goes in a second and what it does um, but here is my my rack with my switch in it let me open it up real quick um, and I do plan on taking this out probably after this video actually um, and sliding these uh, rails back so the door isn't bunched up against these patch cables. I don't think it will hurt them, um, but as you can see, there is it's, that one's kind of bent up a little bit. Um, so, I mean, the worst thing that it can happen is if it messes up one of the cables, is I have to spend another $10 on 10 patch cables, so whatever. Um, so right here, um, we have my 24 port patch panel. These are all empty over here. I'm using this side over here um, just to keep everything along the edge, and I only have 10 um, 10 wires run so I don't need many I don't need all 24 of them um, and all the ports on this switch are on this side because it is a um, well it's a 24 port switch but there's you know empty space over here so I'd have to get longer cables to run over here so just to keep it neater um, I did that um, so these cables the blue ones right here the blue patch cables that go to the panel are all the wires that are run all these things over here are all things that are actually just in the um, the network rack itself um, so they're not attached to the patch cable so I'm going to change this up a little bit now that I have the patch panel and stuff like that, but people have been on the internet, everybody's been home for a while, um, so I haven't been able to shut everything down and take everything out. Um, so that is that, um, and how that is working, everything just runs out the top right there. Again, not everything is completely done yet, but once it is, um, these cables will be tied up and managed a little bit better going through there. Um, so give me one sec, I'm going to go to the other side of this wall right here and show you guys what is going on. All right, so the cool thing about my house is it has a really, really, really big attic. Um, that is the top of the room where we just were up here. Um, and this is behind it. Um, there's a door out of the closet and you can basically get back here. So you can see the cables right here. I'm not gonna walk all the way over there because there's this pole here and it's kind of hard to get through there. Um, but right here, um, you can see those cables. Um, again, they are going to be managed a lot better and tied up once everything is 100% complete. Don't want to uh, do anything and then have to come back and undo it to fix something. But they go right um, where you see this uh, roof right here. That is the loft where we just were. So that's the um, living room right there. And then this wall is behind where we just were or a little further down. So the cables just run right up into there. Uh, through that um, wall piece that you guys saw, they go up and over. Um, and then through the attic uh, down into the closet right behind my desk or not a closet but there's another attic kind of like this um, a little bit smaller but you can access behind the wall um, so right behind my desk up and over down um, and to that wall pe the wall um, plugs behind my desk that I'm about to show you guys uh, so let me walk in there and I'll show you guys what that looks like alright so here we are um, right here is the wall that's behind my desk so all these cables, sorry it's so shaky it's freezing in here. Um, these cables right here go right to the wall. Um, and then right here I have two cables. Um, it's kind of hard to see both of them, but there's one that runs down right here. That actually goes, oh, the blue one does too. The blue one and the gray one both go down to the garage. Um, the blue one continues on under the house over to a room on the other side. Um, so we actually do, that was pre-existing. We already had one there. Um, I think it was put there when the house was built or by the previous owner. Um, so we have one cable running downstairs, um, so that wires an access point down there. You can see I terminated one of the cables we ran, uh, one of the new ones right there, um, into a wall mount box and put it under there and ran that blue cable, um, or plugged that blue cable in again. It wasn't plugged in previously. So now we have a wired access point down on the bottom corner of the house, which is really nice um, because that was one of the worst Wi-Fi coverage areas when the um, access points were in wireless mode. Um, and then right here is all the other cable that we ran um, and it comes down um, when it went up above it comes down right there and runs to the six port keystone jack behind my desk um, 
So that's six cables there, one cable there, and then one more going down to the garage. I'm going to be putting an access point in the garage as well, because um, that just runs down along the wall right there. So it actually comes out on the outside of the wall in the garage. So I'm gonna run that there. So that's eight total cables. There's 10 cables run, so we have two spares just in case the cable ever fails or we want to add anything extra. But that is my home Wi-Fi or home network upgrade for 2021 so far. Um, I did some wiring to have a wired network finally, so I can finally get off Wi-Fi and get my full speeds because I do have gigabit internet. Technically it's 940, but they call it gigabit internet around here. Um, so I have the fastest you can get, and now I'll be able to take advantage of those speeds. So that's a little bit of a tour of what I've done. Um, and what I've been up to the past couple days. Um, I will do another video of the server rack once I finish rearranging everything in there and getting that all cleaned up. Um, and once the system is 100% complete, I'll do a full tour. Um, but this is my home network upgrade for 2021. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.